A few months ago, I decided it was time to upgrade the Guthrie family weather station. And here it is. It's got a barometer and a thermometer and a hygrometer and a clock. It's served a couple of generations quite well and actually it's still reasonably accurate. Look, the barometer says change and the hygrometer says damp. And sure enough, that's pretty much the size of it. But what arrived yesterday is an order of magnitude more sophisticated. I think it's perhaps one of the best man gadgets I've seen all year. In fact, I was so excited when the DHL van arrived, I temporarily lost control of my bowels. It's called the Tempest Weather System. And here it is. By the way, if you enjoy this uh, review and would like to be notified of more reviews of gadgets and tech, do press the subscribe button below. Like my old weather station, this thing has a barometer, a hygrometer and a thermometer. But it also has a haptic rain sensor on the top here to measure rainfall, a sonic anemometer here to measure the wind speed and direction, a light sensor to measure the UV index and a lightning sensor. It's all powered by solar energy and it sends its data to an app on your smartphone or tablet. And the extraordinary, remarkable thing is that Weatherflow has managed to fit all of these sensors into something which isn't much bigger than a couple of Coke cans. Now the first thing I have to do is install this thing. It has to be sighted somewhere with as much exposure to wind, rain and sun as possible and away from surfaces that can affect readings, like the ground or buildings or active chimneys. It has to be mounted firmly so that it doesn't vibrate in the wind and it also has to be aligned so that this arrow, wherever it's gone there, points directly to true north. Now ideally that means sticking it at the top of a 30 foot pole secured with cables away from buildings. But that isn't terribly practical for us and we're not collecting data for the Met Office. So I think the best place for us to mount it is on the end of a pole attached to one of our unused chimneys. So here is a pole I bought precisely for that purpose earlier. And a couple of brackets. The Tempest has a fitting which just slides over the top of the pole. To be on the safe side, I've also bought some earthing cable to attach to the pole and then to a copper ground stake at the other end, just in case it gets struck by lightning. Now all I need to do is go and bolt it onto the chimney. Here I am on the top of my roof. I've attached a couple of brackets here to the side of the chimney and then popped the stainless steel pole into the brackets, bolted them all up and then pop the Tempest on the top of the pole. I'll put links in the description below to all the bits and bobs that I needed to attach it to the chimney. Then the next thing I needed to do was to align the arrow on the Tempest to True North. I did that by using the compass on my iPhone. Important to uh, change it in the settings to point to True North rather than Magnetic. Also important to say you don't have to shove this thing on the top of your chimney. If you're not feeling quite that brave, uh, you can always just pop it on a pole at the end of the garden. Now all I need to do is plug in the Wi-Fi hub that came with the Tempest, download and install the app on my smartphone, pair the two, name my weather station and I'm off to the races. First impressions of this app are that it's a real masterclass in how to present lots of data in a way that's really easy to assimilate. At the top here in blue, there's an at-a-glance display of the current temperature, the wind speed and direction, and the amount of solar radiation. Tap that and you get a more detailed list of the current conditions. And if you click any of them, let's take the temperature, you're taken through to a graph showing how the readings have changed over time. If you then go back again to the next white stripe down, it shows you the time of sunrise and sunset and the forecast conditions between the two. So today we've got a 10% chance of rain, a high of three and a low of zero. Then there's an hourly forecast, which you can expand to get more detail about the wind direction and the amount of rain. Then you can scroll further to a 10 day forecast. And again, each of the days is expandable for more information. And then if you scroll even further, there's a whole load more information that's well above my pay grade, like the air density here, 
and the delta t, whatever that might be. Lastly, there's a history button here, which can give you the data for any given day since you plugged your Tempest in. One other nice little touch here is in the settings. You can scroll down to display options and pick always on mode. And that means if you've got an old unused smartphone, you can put it on a charging stand and use it as a permanent display of the current weather conditions. I absolutely love this thing. I'm fascinated by the weather and I can't wait to bore people senseless at dinner parties. Did you know that the barometric pressure today was 1,002.3 millibars and the wind speed averaged 4.2 miles per hour, gusting to 7? Oh yes, and we had 4.2 millimetres of rainfall on Wednesday the 6th of October. Now one thing I don't know and I've got very little way of telling is how accurate this thing is. But I'm not sure how much that really matters. My first impression is that the readings do seem to reflect what I'm seeing out of the window. And I'd be very surprised if one of my dinner party guests challenged me. 4.2 millimetres of rain on Wednesday the 6th, you say? I hate to contradict, but I think you'll find it was 4.5 millimetres. Now, there is a potentially very useful purpose for all this information, and that is to control smart devices in your house. For example, you can configure the Tempest to turn your lights on when the outdoor brightness drops below a certain level. Or you can tell your central heating to rack itself up a bit and work harder when the outside temperature is below freezing. Or you could perhaps tell it to spray your wife in oil when the UV index goes above 5. That's going to take a little bit of setting up, so I'm going to keep it for another review another day. In the meantime, if any of your friends are weather bores, you might like to share this video with them. And until the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.